See Lindelof videos, AP calculus. Find the average value of a trig function. This is different than average rate of change. Remember that average rate of change goes to derivatives. Average value goes to antiderivatives, goes to area. And we can talk more about that if you'd like. So here's that question. It says, what's the average value of cosine of x on the interval of negative 3 to 5? First thing you need to do is memorize this average value um, formula, which just says that it's 1 over b minus a times the definite integral a to b of f of x dx. From here, we're just going to use this. We're going to integrate, and we're going to use fundamental theorem of calculus where possible. In this case, it's not very possible. This comes off the AP exam, and this is not a calculator section, so we're not able to use a calculator to find this. So all we can do is give our literal answer. So I'm just going to fit, fill in the blanks here. And the first blank I want to fill in is this one. It's 1 over, we have 5 minus minus 3, which is 8 right so be careful right so b minus a is 5 minus negative 3 so negative negative plus so it makes it 8 are we good there and then here i'm going to start taking i'm going to take my derivative well what is the derivative of i'm sorry what is the antiderivative of cosine x but sine x so sine x dx as evaluated from negative 3 to 5 so this is the notation that I, I would definitely use. This would be show up on a free response question. And then from here, we went ahead and integrated. So I'm going to go ahead and use fundamental theorem of calculus. I'm going to use fundamental theorem of calculus, which, of course, you know very, very well. And it suggests that we take this, that we take f of b minus f of a. So we take sine of 5 minus sine of negative 3. This is really unfair that they did this to us here um, right I would leave that just like that because these are numbers now here's the problem and this is what they're gonna do to us and it kinda sucks remember the unit circle and if we have on the unit circle if we have sine of something here if I go straight down well the sine of the the sign of its corresponding point is the opposite of that. So <clears throat> because of that, you can take this negative out and it goes to the front. That is to say that sine of opposite theta is equal to the opposite of the sine of theta. This is the trig rule that I'm I'm using right now. It looks like I'm factoring it out. I'm not factoring it out. I'm saying that it's the opposite of that. So it does have that effect. So this negative is going to come out and it's going to make this positive. I would not uh, try to describe that as me factoring it out. It's a trig rule, right? And they're the opposite, opposite angle uh, formulas or uh, po positive and negative formulas for trig. So what we're going to get here is sine of 5 plus sine of 3 over 8. Remember, you can't add sine of 5 plus sine of 3 and get sine of 8 or anything crazy like that. So this is where our answer stops. It's possible that they would write it in reverse order, that they'd write sine of 3 plus sine of 5, which is what they did on the exam. I hope this is helpful. This is very, very doable. What I want you to keep in mind is that average value and average rate of change are not the same. Average value, you want to use anti-differentiation. Average rate, you want to use f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So something to think about. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.